Arriving tomorrow on September 10th will be the reissue of Metallica's highest selling self-titled record aka the Black Album. August 12th was the album's 30th anniversary and celebrating that the band is to release remastered versions of all 12 tracks plus the Metallica Blacklist. A compilation record featuring 53 covers by 53 different artists. Released in 1991, the Black Album marked a significant change in the band's music and writing process and a departure from its thrash roots to a slower and heavier style. The album topped the charts, has sold over 16 million copies in the US, became Metallica's best seller and one of the best selling albums of all time, and was certified platinum 16 f***ing times. However, some people were not so happy about any of that. Metallica has been accused of, quote, selling out by some hardcore fans ever since the Black Album came out. The band confidently deserted the rapid fire and aggressive sound and disturbing lyrics, much to the dismay of those original followers. This is One Man Covers and you are watching the reasons why Metallica's Black Album is hated. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The first four Metallica albums shaped the first 10 years of the band's career. They were built around fast and punchy riffs, high tempo drum beats, and screeching vocals. But on the fifth album, the band took a new road of slower tempo, easier and catchier guitar riffs, simpler beats, and more melody. Which was well received by millions of fans worldwide, but came as quite a shock to some. The transformation is still frowned upon to this day by social media gatekeepers who have quote, stopped listening in 1991. <sighs> the Grammy winning opening track is also one of the most frequently played songs by the band on stage. However, it is also considered as the beginning of mainstream Metallica. With its clean intro, catchy build up and tempo, easy and iconic guitar riff, and repetitive drum patterns, Enter Sandman is viewed as one of Metallica's poppiest songs. The hardcore lovers, of course, felt betrayed by their worshipped gods of thrash when the single first came out. After working with producer Paul Kurcho on debut album Kill Em All, and with Fleming Rasmussen on Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, and Justice, Metallica decided to hire Bob Rock, who had previously worked with more mainstream bands from the glam metal scene, including the most popular one, Motley Crue. Obviously the hardcore thrash fans were not fond of such work. Bob was the one to lead Metallica to mainstream radio success with a new formula of shorter, slower songs with more memorable melody and less complicated and tricky structures. Before the Black Album, the only ballad Metallica had done was Fade to Black. The use of instruments like the acoustic guitar was generally rare. On the contrary, the self-titled record featured two ballads instead of one. Those were The Unforgiven and Nothing Else Matters, which only recently has hit 1 billion views on YouTube, the only Metallica song to achieve such a milestone so far. Once again, the gatekeepers were shocked. Despite being the most popular Metallica song right now, Nothing Else Matters is still considered by the cult followers as a major letdown. You cannot hate The Unforgiven though, that song is a masterpiece you just can't. This song shocked a lot of people. Don't Tread On Me is about American patriotism. The snake on the album cover actually is a reference to it. It originates from the revolutionary war flag. The lyrics have political phrases that were used during the American War of Independence. Lyrics like, liberty or death, what we so proudly hail, once you provoke her, rattling of her tail. To secure peace is to prepare for war. And shining with brightness, always on surveillance, the eyes they never close, emblem of vigilance, led many people to believe in Metallica was pro-war when in fact they were anti-war. James Hetfield stated that some fans in America were shocked by the song, but that those in Europe were not so appalled by it. The hardcore fans of the first decade of Metallica got stuck in that era and refused to accept the evolution and new direction of the band. I have said this more than once before and I'll say it again. 
If Metallica had stuck to their roots and only made more albums like, say, Master of Puppets, people would have slowly gotten bored and abandoned them. They would have made the same mistake of most other thrash bands that never emerged from the underground scene. Metallica would have never gotten to where they are now if they hadn't experimented on the Black Album, Load, Reload and Sane Anger. They would have been just another average band, not the Metallica that we all know. Thank you for watching, tell me your thoughts down in the comment section, like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you already have ordered the reissue of the Black Album and the Metallica Blacklist, then I hope you enjoy listening tomorrow. Thanks again, this is One Man Covers, I'll see you next time.